Now, the menace of seats at home remains a big challenge for Southeast governors to contend with. In a number of states, several markets have been sealed by the State Market Amalgamated Traders Association for not opening for business on Monday and not participating in the sanitation as ordered by the state governments. The President General of the Association, Humphrey Anuna, and his team members expressed disappointment that the market did not open despite the directive by the state government that all markets should be open on Monday. Monday, 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 yet to, you know, get back to the normal mm. uh, business Monday in the Southeast. After months or weeks or years of this um, sit at home. You see, as far as I'm concerned, it will take a while before the confidence of people is restored. So this idea of moving around, closing their shops, is like putting the cart before the horse, if you allow that cliche. Why? What people need is that confidence that if I open my shop, nothing will happen to me. Some of those who, do, who are not opening their shop, it is not because they don't want to do business. It is not because they, uh, they align with IPOP when IPOP was saying so, although IPOP has said no, that is no longer the issue. Uh, they, should not, they should forget about it. It is not because they support not opening their shop. It is a, a, a way of exercising some caution that, look, if you open your shop, you might be attacked. So the government needs to restore that confidence in people that, look, we have made sure that your life and, that of, uh, your, and your properties are safe. If you open your shop, you, nothing will happen to you. If you continue to close their shop, it is not that they are, I'm sure they are not happy. They are not government workers. So they know that if you don't open their, if you, if you don't go, if you don't open your shop, there will be no market for you. So whether you open it or you don't open it, it is at your own loss and gain. If they were government workers, whether they go to work or not, they will get their pay. So in this situation, the government should rather than shutting down their shop, encourage them, let them see reason that, look, we have tried all our best. And if there are any sort of disturbance on that day, government will show them that we are ready to punish those who violate, who don't allow you or who come and disturb you. So the government must, it is that confidence that people need. When you tell people that, oh, come and open your shop, nothing will happen to you. If they open it and something happens, who will bear the cost? Who is going to be responsible for that? So government should, rather than be shutting down their shop, government should find a way to restore their confidence. Because that is the most important thing. Larry, it's been months, years, that they started this exercise and you know, the sit at home exercise and to bring them back, it will take extra effort. Yes, true. And that's why we're not upon this uh, ceiling of markets and the punishing of uh, people who refuse to open shops. It will be counterproductive, obviously, it will be. Uh, what uh, the government should do more is sensitize the people. This is something that has almost become a culture. I want you to know that the moment this Monday sit at home thing lingered, these people adjusted mm. everything. And they, the lifestyle. they, they are, they, they are calendar, acclimatized. Calendar, everything. Adjust their calendar, change their pattern, their programs, and they fitted in. Since government, no security agency could help them. Non state actors. Determine, uh, determine. The public holiday. They get Monday as a no work day. For so long, over a year, it lingered, and people already had adjusted to it. For you to bring them out and say, look, we can go back to normalcy, you have to ensure it is more of carrot than stick.
Yeah. If you come with uh, cordials and arrows and hammers, you will not get their confidence mm -hmm. and you won't have their support. What do you do as a government who wants the people to accept the fact that we can live our lives without fearing some people? Allow those who are opening their shops and markets mm -hmm. to, to thrive. Allow those who still stay at home to see that nothing happened. Exactly. To those who went to the who market on Monday. Monday. Yeah. Come forward with incentives mm. for those who are courageous and cooperative enough to open their market. Oh, for coming today, oh, this is what you gained. For not coming, ah, we lost what they gained. Without being punished. Gradually, more people, more people. We will we'll come out to participate in the market activities. Mm. If government itself will encourage certain things to happen on Mondays, mm. to encourage those who are coming out, mm. then those who aren't coming out will move in. But if you begin to lock shops, they, it, 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 will, it will take you back to what you don't want. Because if more people stay at home, you will lock more shops. Mm. And more activities will be debarred. So it, it, is, it is not the way to go. Rather, orientation. Sensitization, encouragement, security. These are the things government should pay attention to. If people feel that, yes, lives and properties are actually yeah. safe now, even on, on a Monday, anywhere in uh, uh, the Southeast, people will go to market. Recently, in, uh, I know of Enugu, but I'm sure it happened in most states of the Southeast, four members were decamped a week earlier than other states in the Southeast. Because somebody declared one week stay at home. And they didn't want that to meet four yeah, members four member. in the Southeast. Mm. So instead of spending three weeks or so, oh, they spent two weeks and they were asked oh, to go. What's their program? What's their program? So that is a federal government program. Aha. Uh -huh. so, so when people now you get afraid, you, you, you want to blame them? You can't blame them. We have seen people who were, who were shot right there in their shop. Yeah. Let us let them know that you can go and nothing will happen first. Let this run for some time. I think lately the military, um, the 82 division, is it? Yeah, yeah. Is it 81 or 82 division? The one, the one in the division, one, yeah. Yeah. They're doing something, yeah. And they've been apprehending some of this. Um, criminal yeah, they apprehend them more. Hideouts they've been. You know, that, that is a confidence booster. And also, I think on those Mondays uh, that are market days, if the government can uh, ask some of its own officials to also visit these markets, let people see them around. Let people see that oh, uh, maybe the secretary to the government of the uh, to the state government or the head of service and so on that people come to the market. Even if they don't have anything to buy, but at least you move around with people, the confidence will be restored that, oh, okay, if government people can come out and come to these shops, then that means there is a normalcy is returning gradually. So the government itself must go out. And as that is said, this time it is carrot that must be used. You can't force somebody to open a shop. Okay, if you oh, if you if you shut his shop now and he comes next week and he says he was ill, he was in the hospital, mm. what will you do? There's nothing you can do. So it is because of the level of people not coming that we have noticed it. By the time things become normal now, it's just like the Yoruba will say, Ojo Yuboko, when it comes. By the time things become normal now, whether you come on a Monday or you don't come, nobody will know. It is your pocket that will tell you. Because Monday is a very, very important day anywhere in the world. It's a first business day of the week. And people come from everywhere to buy things, to exchange goods and all, do all that. And then you now say that you will not allow people to go to their market on that day. The government needs to convince people that, look, Monday, uh, things have become normal. You don't have to uh, shut down your shops. You don't have to be away from your shop again. Come and open your shop and do your business as usual. Okay.